According to everything you've just told me, this whole mess started when your Digivice changed into a D3. If my calculations are correct, it's all your fault. Uh-huh. The others needed D3s in order to compete with you, so their subconscious minds must have somehow willed their Digivices to change. Although I'm not sure Davis has a subconscious mind. As strong as these Digivices are, they just weren't enough. Of course, that also means you must have made a wish for your Digivice to change into a D3. I don't remember making any wishes. In fact, I always got the short side of the wishbone from the turkey. Like I said, it must have been your subconscious. We geniuses have pretty big ones. In the digital world, data is formed into shapes, usually based on whatever a person has running through their mind. Kind of like a VCR for the brain. And that's the reason why everyone's clothes change every time they go into the digital world, and why Davis looks the way he does. Like a fighter pilot on a safari. I see. So then I must have wished for that Digimon Emperor outfit. So you're not perfect. You should read Singvold's theory of ultimate brain power. You might be able to pick up a few pointers. Actually, I taught a class on it. But don't you think Tesaro's strengthening your mind was more effective? Uh, yeah. But of course, Gorski's My Brain, My Buddy is the quintessential masterpiece when it comes to exploring the inner workings of the human mind. Now, I'm sure you've read it a dozen times. It's a bestseller in the school psychology department bookstore. I'm sorry, Izzy. I can't believe I've never heard of that one. I feel so ashamed of myself. Oh, don't worry. I've got an extra copy you can borrow. After all, we high IQ types gotta stick together, right? Besides, of all the other Digi-Destined I've met, you're one of the only ones as smart as me. <laughs> <laughs>